Hello guys, it is me again, it's HorrorFan34, and welcome back to another video, and I know I'm a little late with this, so I apologize, but this is the last part of the stuff that I got for, for Christmas, now this is all the stuff that I got for myself, so I hope you guys enjoy, um, hope you guys have been enjoying so far all the parts for these, for this series of videos, so let's get on to it, and Happy New Year's, the, this is officially January 1st, 2020. And also stay tuned, I'll be doing my top 30 best and worst list and things like that. So let's get on to the other pickups. So these are all the Blu-rays that I got. Uh, the first one I picked up was The Fanatic with John Travolta and Devin Sawa. Uh, I think this is like one of those like really great guilty pleasure movies where it's like a so bad it's good kind of movie. Where John Travolta is this really obsessed fan who is obsessed with Devin Sawa's character and him. You know, he goes, like, he's, like, stalking him and things like that. I mean, it's a really crazy movie. Um, John Travolta just has a really over-the-top performance um, and things like that. It was really cool to see Devin Sawa back in a big movie again. So, and I got to meet Devin Sawa, too. Really cool guy, too. Because of the slip cover. Surprisingly enough, I don't... Yeah, this doesn't have any features on it, set, surprisingly enough, because usually a lot of these new releases have features. I don't know why the hell this doesn't have any features on it, but... But that's the Fanatic. Next one here, the thing is the last Blu-ray that I got. Uh, Screen Factory release of John Carpenter's Vampires. This was a really great release from Screen Factory. Um... Because you have a brand new interview with James Woods, who's really proud of the film. It's one of my favorite roles of James Woods. I probably say it's it's definitely like in my top five favorite James Woods films up there with Cop and Videodrome and things like that. Really underrated movie by John Carpenter, and just a really underrated movie. Um, Screen Factory did a really nice job on the features, especially new interviews with Carpenter and James Woods. Those are the big pluses. Uh, just a really great vampire film. And, of course, I have the reversible artwork as well as the new artwork as well. I, I need to get some of the other Screen Factory Blu-rays that came out, like Big Trouble in Little China, um, The Blob, and things like that. So that's Vampires. Okay, those are the two Blu-rays. Now getting on to the DVDs. Some found some really cool out-of-print stuff as well. Here's one that's out of print that I was really happy to find. The two-disc edition of Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. Uh, definitely one of my favorite roles of Michael Rooker. I think this was the very first film Michael Rooker debuted in. What a great debut it was for Michael Rooker. And Michael Rooker is an actor. I've always loved this guy as an actor. Uh, great in Mallrats, Cliffhanger, the Guardi uh, the the Guardians films and things like that. I mean, just a great, great underrated actor. And you know, this is just I think one of my top favorite roles of Michael Rooker. It's the great movie. It's from 1986. Also has the late great Tom Tolles. I mean, just a really creepy movie. Michael Rooker's great in this as Henry. Here's another one that was out of print as well. I was shaking when I found this because I was looking for this forever. It's the two-disc special edition of Escape from New York. Um, really, really well done movie by John Carpenter. Sorry, it's Kurt Russell. This is the second time that Kurt Russell... And John Carpenter worked together. The first one was the Elvis miniseries that they did back in the 70s. Um, and I will say this has a really great commentary on here with John Carpenter and Kurt Russell. I mean, those are like some of the best commentaries you can ask for, like those two together. You also have Lee Van Cleef, Ernest Bordenine, Donald Pleasance, Harry Dean Stanton, Adrian Barbeau. I mean, just a great cast. And I also really do enjoy the sequel, too, uh, Escape from L.A., but... This is without a doubt the best one. Here's one I haven't seen yet. I've heard about this film before, though. Um, it's from 1989, directed by Dwight H. Little. Uh, the Phantom of the Opera. This is the one with Robert Englund. 
Never saw this. Never saw this film. Surprisingly enough. So, who, if you've seen this film, please let me know what what you think of it in the comments below. But uh, you also have Jill Sholin, who I believe was in Elm Street Three. I'm pretty sure that's her. Bill Nye, Dwight H. Little, same guy that did Halloween Four and Rapid Fire. But haven't seen this yet though. Here's a really cool one here that I found. Uh, this is a really great one that I found for really cheap. The, com the complete series of The Addams Family. The 1964 to 66 uh, television show that oh, that was on ABC. Only ran for two seasons, sadly. But such a, one of my personal favorite shows of all time. Love the packaging design on it, too. I mean, this is like the true Addis Family, in my opinion. I really do enjoy the films, but this is always the Addis Family I always think of. Carolyn Jones, John Aston, Jackie Coogan, Ted Cassidy. And speaking of John Travolta, just talking about The Fanatic, here's another really underrated uh, John Travolta film, The General's Daughter, directed by Simon West. Great movie. Here's another one that's out of print. The two-disc special edition of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Very nice. Here's one here that's, I think, I don't think it's out of print, but uh, this is kind of a cool one, but uh, it's the Clerks Uncensored. This is the TV series that was on ABC. And it's actually, you can see that it was written on. It's autographed by Kevin Smith, actually. So whoever had this before sold this used, and it was signed by Kevin Smith. So, hey, I got a Kevin Smith autograph on it. Can't complain about that. But, uh... Here's another one that I think is out of print as well. Uh, Street Fighter. This is the collector's edition from Universal. I believe this was the last film with Raul Julia, who sadly passed away a few months after this film was, was released as M. Bison. Here's another one that I think is out of print as well. This is the the uncut version of Heavenly Creatures. Underrated Peter Jackson movie. And the last one here that I got with the, for myself for Christmas that was also out of print. I freaking dropped it because I'm, I'm an asshole. <laughs> House Arrest. A really weird movie. Jamie Lee Curtis, Kevin Pollock, Jennifer Tilly, Christopher McDonald, uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt, Wallace Shawn, Ray Walston. Just a really weird movie. So, and that's it. That's all the stuff that I got for Christmas. So, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you guys next time. You guys take care.